Hello and welcome back to the Lincoln Loco 2. Today we have got more league games coming up before you're against top of the table Basford United and then against Daily Ridge Celtic. We're a little bit further down the table, slightly more manageable result that one. Top of the table today, it could be a whitewash. Since you last here then, things have been alright actually I've got to say. They've not been awful, uh, they've not been brilliant but they've not been that, that great either I've got to say. Uh, you were last here for the, was it the loss to Droylsden and the draw to Stafford Rangers. Um, after that we had two games against Pontefract, one in the cup, one in the league. We lost them both, doesn't really matter too much because we lost them both. So it's, again, we, we picked up a penalty late on that game against Pontefract but it was just too little too late really in that game. And defensively we just quite weren't there i'm afraid um after that pontifract game we had two weeks off before our next game um but then that game got cancelled so that would have been three weeks without a game so we scheduled a friendly in between there so the players could have a little bit of game time rather than just have three weeks off and lose all match sharpness um so we played a team from loads of leagues below us and only just won 2-1 but uh, it was a win at least it ended this sort of losing and, and not winning streak that would have for quite a while six games or seven games even uh, without winning which wasn't great so that sort of ended that and gave the boys a bit of a lift actually and since then it's looked quite good we beat Altrium 4-2 in the end um, and actually we were losing 3-2 or it was 2-all actually until the 94th minute and then 95th minute Oh McQuaid and Mum scored goals in that so we were very very lucky in that game I've got to say scoring two so late on fantastically it gave us a three points because at the end of last episode after that Pontifact game especially we were bottom of the table so it wasn't great at all and uh, that Pontifact game put us bottom of the table so it lifted us back off the top of the bottom of the table rather which is really good to see for two especially away from home that was a great result we carried it through into the game against Ashton United a 2-0 win there with Luke Holmes and Reagan Hutchinson grabbing the goals in that game which was really good uh, we had Hereford in the FA Trophy third qualifying round which we lost unfortunately wasn't great but we did sign a player from Hereford after that game so I'll show you him in a minute which is quite interesting and then after that we had Nantwich Town in the league and again another win so the last three league games we've played have all been wins which has been really good so hopefully we can continue that form I don't think we will against Basford United on the grounds that they are top of the table and have won most of their games this season. That's going to be a real tough one. But Staley Ridge Celtic, who are sitting uh, fifth in the league, I think they were down in 11th last time, or last episode when we said, let's do this game and this game, they're 11th. So they've obviously gone up a little bit. So it's going to be a tricky episode, this one. But I think with a very defensive tactic that we're going to go for today, we could do it. Before we get into that game, though, we do have another transfer to tell you about from Hereford. Jamie Bird comes in on a free transfer after he was transfer listed. He is a right winger. We don't need another right winger. Well, we kind of do because the ones we've got there aren't brilliant. But he comes in on the right-hand side. can play anywhere across the attacking midfield, if we're honest with ourselves, actually. So he's a very versatile player. But importantly, four-star current ability, five-star potential. We really need those kind of four-star players and above now. Uh, the players that are really going to help us push on to the next level because we've just got too many three-star players that are just sort of like average at best at this level. And we need better than that. So we're slowly starting to build with these previous two signings that we've got of course we signed Lee Masters last episode for the club record fee which has gone up to 6.75k I'm not quite sure why but it seems to have gone up a little bit which is a bit worrying uh, but we've got those two who are at least four star both of them I think Matt Cotton is still four star I think um, I think uh, Connor Robinson is potentially four star as well let's have a quick look at the abilities actually Matt Cotton has dropped down to three star which isn't great uh, and if we look down for Connor Robinson where's Connor Robinson Looks like Connor Robinson's actually dropped down to two and a half star, which is poor. So we've got two four star quality players who, uh, and Stephen Narty on loan, who's three and a half star. So if we can keep Stephen Narty next season as well, that'd be good. And that's sort of the, the foundation for the squad next season. Ideally, we want to be getting in a whole new squad, I think, next season to, because obviously we're 19th in the table right now. We'll show you the table right now. The, the three wins took us off the bottom of the table and put us up to 19th outside the relegation zone again, which is good to see. But we're never going to get promotion with this side, I don't think. It's going to take a real effort and it, we're never going to get promotion with this side and the team, the players that we've got. So next season, we need to really just change everything. Everything has to change next season. And those two players that we signed this episode and last episode are going to be the players that do it for us, I think. Or at least the foundations of the new squad that I want. That's what I meant to say, the foundations. Anyway, we sit in 19th place on 20 points, two clear of the relegation zone. Um, potentially a win today could take us all the way up to 13th, which is quite nice. And two wins, two wins today could put us all the way outside the playoffs. So it's still really tight in this division. Like if we just get a little bit of good form going, like we have done the past three games, we could be right back up there again. But it's just... We just are too inconsistent at the moment. Now, this is the formation that you haven't seen yet this season. Uh, we tried this, uh, at least I built it, or well, I say built it. 
or you just pick part of the bus and 4-4-2 in pre-season to train it for, for teams that are going to be loads better than us. And Vassford United, as at the top of the table, are better than us. So we need to be a bit more defensive, a bit more cautious. We're not going to be able to go to their place and attack and beat them. So we're going for a defensive 4-4-2. So Emery's in goal, as per usual. Uh, a pretty usual back line now of Osme, Narty, Jacqueline and Jake Walker. The midfield, a little bit different. We've got Matt Cotton playing on the right of midfield. The new guy isn't coming in just yet. Uh, he's on the bench. Is he on the bench? Yeah, J, J Bird. Jack Bird, or was it James Bird? Jamie Bird, that was what it was. Cotton starting ahead of him just because he's more comfortable in that position further back along the field. So I think he'll be quite good. Uh, Masters and McQuaid make up that midfield partnership as they have been doing recently. And Luke Holmes starts on the left-hand side. We've not really got an actual left-sided midfielder. We've got like attacking midfielders. But in terms of left-sided actual midfielders, Luke Jones is the best it gets there. So he's starting there. And of course, Robinson as the pressing forward. But Jack Warner comes in as the poacher because Reagan Hutchinson really just hasn't been playing particularly well recently. So it's time to give Warner a chance, I think. Right then, kickoff is upon us here today in, I think it's Nottingham, Basford United. Um, I, I'm, I think it is at least. Uh, yeah, there it is. Oh, Nottingham. It says it there. That's pretty cool. So we're in Nottingham today, not too far away from Lincoln. My old uni university stomping ground, Nottingham. So uh, I know the place pretty well. Not a clue where Basford United's ground actually is in Nottingham. I won't be able to tell you that. But, you know, the, the major landmarks in Nottingham ask me i don't know why i did that as well that's a little that's that was a bit odd wasn't it either way though i think if we can hold them to a draw today that would be fantastic this formation is never going to get as wins really it's part of the bus it's sort of damage limitation i think so if we can grab a nil nil draw here today i think that would be almost as good as a win for us by looks of things though staley bridge are winning their game because they moved up to third in the table so next game i, I think next game against staley bridge will use this formation again because it, you know it's decent save from Emery from that free kick that was a very dangerous free kick there so good save from Emery can we get on the counter attack Holmes does actually pick up the ball there which is good uh, Robinson now on the ball we've got a bit of a counter attack get it out wide I mean not wide that way and we've not really done anything with it we've got it out wide to the right there were so many players and free space for us to go on uh, as I was saying though as Staley Bridge are winning their game I think we'll use this formation in that game as well especially if we manage to hold Basford to a draw today, or even better, grab a win. Another free kick, though, for Basford just outside the area. This time it goes wide, not troubling Emery too much, but they do look dangerous from set pieces, which we need to be careful of. However, despite them having 12 shots, their only highlights have been from free kicks, which suggests to me, at least, that we're doing an, an all right job defensively. Half-time, nil-nil. That's a good place to be. Uh, I mean, we're playing for the draw here today. That's what we're doing right now. Uh, as long as we don't lose today, I'll be very, very happy. I can see actually Basford top of the table by a long way at this stage as well. Seven points clear at the top of the table as things stand right now. So they've been playing incredibly well all season. So if we can grab a draw today, that really is fantastic stuff. Although we've just given the ball away there. Although, no, we've given the ball away completely. As I say, we've done well to keep a draw. I can feel the goal coming now. Wallace coming forward for them. Gets it out wide to Langford. Langford gets tackled actually by Matt Cotton. Now, if we can get on the counter-attack, that's a superb ball up to Jack Warren who can't quite get there. I thought he was about to get there and score on the counter attack. The goalkeeper punts upfield towards their, their men. Wallace now on the ball. They've managed to keep hold of possession. We've got loads of men behind the ball, but we've just let Wallace come through there. Luckily for us, he shoots from a long way out, which is never going to trouble Emery. It was too high, way over the crossbar, and we've sort of got away with that, I think. But as you saw there, we let him through. No one was there stopping him. Here's another free kick from Wallace. Third time lucky. He does put it in the back of the net they have been dangerous from those free kicks. We've seen two come pretty close. The third one does go in the back of the net, unfortunately. And now we're sort of in the predicament because we're playing for the draw. As you can see, we've only had three shots, one of which has been in the second half. Like, we've done nothing. So, do we go to the diamond, perhaps? Does the diamond work out a little bit better for us, maybe? I think it's maybe worth a try. I think it's maybe worth a try. I mean, we're losing anyway. If we're only going to lose by more, aren't we? This 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 way, we may give ourselves a chance of getting back into the game. So, uh, Jack Combs is going to come on for Luke Combs. And then we're going to swap him and Cotton around. Uh, Cotton can go in that attacking midfield position. And Jack Combs goes in the CDM place. We may bring Mum on later on in the game. We may bring Skeffington on. I'm not too sure. But that's what they're going to do for now. Slightly more offensive, this formation. It still keeps a bit of defensive shape, but I think it could be good. Basford are doing all they can, though, to grab more goals. The ball out wide to Langford. We've lost a bit of width now, so they're going to try and exploit the, 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 the flanks. I know that for sure, but we can overload the middle when we attack. Uh, they've gone all the way back to their defence now, passing it around. Good high press there from our strikers. It does get out to Langford, though, 
unfortunately. So that's good effort, though, from the boys at the uh, up front, defending from the front, essentially. Ball out to Vaughan, who's got so much time to cross the ball and cleared, but only as far as Dixon into their man, who hits the crossbar. We've been let off there as Emery collects the ball there. That was a, a well-worked move for Basford as they keep having shots. We've not had a shot yet since we changed formation. I think what we'll do is we're going to keep Cotton on the pitch. We're going to take Robinson off and bring Mum on up front, who can play as a advanced forward. Let's try that, I think. And the game starts to come to a close now, and they've got another free kick. We've really not been able to do anything in this game, to be fair. It's cleared off the line there by Jack Combs. We've done so well to keep it at 1-0. We've got so unlucky with that free kick, I've got to say. Like, I really think we should have drawn this. I mean, stat-wise, we shouldn't have drawn this game at all. They've had so many chances, but to concede from the free kick like that, it was a little bit annoying, I've got to say. But to only lose 1-0 to top of the table... Basford United, who are nine points clear at the top of the table, only 19 games into the season. They're clearly dead on for promotion. They're doing so well at this season so far. So I, I don't think we can be disappointed with that. I think we'll go with the same formation again for the game against uh, Staley Bridge, who haven't won. They, well, they, yeah, they've, well, they have won their game. I thought it said 3-2 to the other team, but they've lost. They won 3-2 rather. It was a good result. You know, I, well, it's not a good result we've lost, but it was a, a battling performance. I think if we played our more attacking formations throughout the whole game we probably would have lost it by a lot more so I think we can take some positives from that so we're coming up to nearly halfway through the season actually I've got to say uh, I've just noticed as well we seem to have games in hand and a lot of teams above us at least one on, and if, in fact at least one on pretty much everyone because the game against Warrington we had was called off that's what we had three weeks off so that's one of them but other teams have played 20 so actually if we win our game in hand could put us a little bit further away from the relegation zone, which is really, really good, actually. So I didn't notice that before. That's actually really handy. Uh, what I was going to look at is, now that we're halfway through the season, obviously it looks like we're going to be in a relegation battle, whatever. Like, that's what it's going to be. So, last season, you needed 45 points. Well, actually 39, but technically 40. Well, 39 points, yeah, to ensure survival. The season before that was actually 36. So... So, but yeah, I, I think if we aim for 40 points this season, then that should be enough for safety. Like, Stafford Rangers, they're down and out. They're, they're relegated already on 13 points. Um, obviously, Ashton and Warrington are very, very close to us, only one point behind us. But 40 points then is the target. That's what we need to get. Will we get to 40 points? I hope so. I think, you know, one point, I I think that generally the rule for, for avoiding relegation, I never say 50 points sort of thing, but for me, I think it, it could just be one point in a game. So we play 42 games this season. 42 points should be enough to keep us in this division. So that's what the aim is. 40, 42 points. Every week as well, Stephen Narty, every single week is always the best in training. He, he's such a good player. I'd love to get him permanently next season if Lincoln let him go. If it's like Duncan Idahan, then he may want £700 a week and not come to us. But we'll, we'll try and figure it out. Uh, Jack Warner, though, currently work. Michael Emery's always been down in the bad training, I've got to say. We need to try and address this, Michael. Um, I think maybe because he's the only goalkeeper at the club, he just thinks it's easy, to be fair. And, and you know, it probably is, actually. He's the only goalkeeper there. He's not got to worry about his position. So it might be a good idea to get one in soon, even if it's just someone rubbish, actually, to just give a little bit of competition. So maybe he trains a bit harder. That might help. However, as he's the only goalkeeper, he's going to be staying in goal for the game against Staley Bridge Celtic today. Uh, I think we'll keep the lineup pretty similar. I'm going to bring Reagan Hutchinson on for Warrener instead, just because Warren didn't play very well last game at all. Hutchinson might play a little better, we don't know. Um, can Skeffington play better than McQuaid as a deep line playmaker? Not, there's no difference. We'll, we'll give him a start at least. He's not played a little bit, so let's give him a start out there instead. Other than that, I think I am happy with that squad. Let's go for it then against Staley Bridge Celtic. If we can play like we did against uh, Bassford in the last game, rather than conceding free kick, keep it a nil-nil, I'll be happy again, I think. I will be happy. It does feel a bit wrong playing for draws, but at this stage of the season, on this very, very square pitch, we, we just need to be getting a, a point. A point, that's all we need. One point a game. That's all we need to get, really, for this season to stay up. So a point today would do the job of keeping us up this div in this division. Tell you what, I quite like their kit. I mean, obviously, these aren't the real kits. I don't have the real kits installed, actually, on, on the game. I don't get the kit packs. But if that is, you know, similar to their real kit, that's, a, that's quite a nice one, to be fair. I like that. If I had my own team, actually, I think I'd do checks because that's quite cool. No one really does it as uh, Staley Bridge uh, do grab a goal. 
early on in this game. That's not what we want to see, especially when we've had no shots and stuff like that as well. I did think we'd be able to hold out a little bit, you know, against Stalybridge. We held out against Basford all game apart from that free kick. So I thought we'd do it again today against Stalybridge. Obviously, that's not happened, has it? I think us losing as well and the other teams below is currently drawing. It does put us down in the relegation zone because our goal difference is so poor. We do have quite a bad goal difference. So it does put us back down there. But we do play Warrington next, which could be... And that's our game in hand as well. So that would be great. If we win that game, that would put us back up in 80 or 19th, 18th or 17th by looks of things. We're not going to win by six or seven goals to go ahead of Nantwich on goal difference. But it's it would go some way to help me, especially if we get a big win. So this game, it might be a write-off already by looks of things. And, and looking at the amount of shots we've had, it's not looking great. So I think we may change formation again at half-time this time. Pretty low-scoring affair this weekend, isn't it, actually? Looking at all those. Only two goals in all the games at the moment, which is a little bit weird. Oh, we forgot to change formation. I meant to do that at half-time. Let's do it now uh, before I actually forget again. Uh, so, do we... Do, should we just go all-out attack? We may as well just go all-out attack, I think, actually. Uh, so, we're going to put Robinson up front. Cotton will come in the middle. And then Luke Holmes actually is fine there, isn't he? And then we can bring on Jamie Bird, the new guy that we brought in from uh, Hereford. He, so this is the first time you're going to see him. He's already played a game, I think. Um, I think he played one game after the Hereford game, which was quite good. But he's not well, obviously he's not played too much because he's only been here for three games. This is the third of them. So he's going to play for this second half. Hopefully he's going to change the game for us. Let's just go for it. You know, similar to last game, we're in the position where we're not in attacking formation. We're 1-0 down. We're only going to lose by more if we stick to it. So let's try and go for it. As they have another free kick from a long way out, goes over the bar. I did think that was going to be just a <laughs> replay of the free kick that they scored in the last episode, or last game rather. Oh, some oh, Lee Masters is injured. Oh, yeah. You hate to see that, to be fair. Hopefully it's not too bad because he's technically meant to be up. I mean, he's on a 6.6 today, which isn't very good, but he's technically meant to be our best player. Potential knee injury. Hmm, that's... That is a little bit of a worry, actually, I've got to say. Let's make uh, old old matey uh, Carolero. Oh, we've already got one in Skeffington. So let's make him a central midfielder on support instead. That might help us a little bit going forward. But that's going to be a loss, actually. If Masters is out for a long time, that's going to be uh, that's going to be hard. Maybe we've got... A, oh, no, it's, it's them having a free kick. I've zoomed in a bit too much on the pitch, trying to make it... Because it's such a square pitch. It's weird. I have to zoom in a bit more so you can actually see the whole thing. We've somehow let Metz through again. He should not have got there. We've cleared the ball, but only as far as short for them he's we've now given away a free kick right on the edge of the area bird gave it away oliver's free kick he's surely going to shoot from this distance go on then he puts it wide that's fine and again staley bridge coming back once again we, okay that was a, a poor ball emery does collect it and he's he's a bit adventurous there coming out holmes on the ball now come on let's grab an equalizer here holmes out towards osme into connor robinson who shoots and it's been clear but only as far as mcquade on the ball now but into Skeffington, Skeffington into Matt Cotton, Holmes on the ball back to Skeffington. If we can just get the killer ball through into the box, that would be great. We don't need the killer ball into the box because Sam Skeffington shoots from distance to equalise things for us. It's one all again. Fantastic stuff. Moves us back out of the relegation zone into 19th on 21 points. That is nice to see as well. That's happy. I'm happy with that. That's good. If we can just carry, in fact, if we can grab a winner, that would be even better. I don't think we will, but we'll stick on attacking. Oh, is that risky? Is that, am I being too risky now? I'm being greedy, Tom. Let's calm down. I'm now trying to just talk so I won't click the button. I'm going to try and mull it over. I don't want to do it because I feel like we could grab a winner in these final five minutes. But at the same time, there's plenty of Staley Bridge looks so dangerous all game. There's plenty of time for them to score a goal. I'm doing it. Let's stick with it. I've talked myself into it. Come on. Five minutes out of time. Let's quickly go on. Go on. Push forward. If we can grab a winner in this game, that would be huge. That would make up for losing the last game as well. Because I said I wanted a point from each, ideally. There's a chance now. And it's, it's Connor Robinson. Oh, does it, is, that, is that Duncan Idaho playing for uh, Staley Bridge Celtic as well, by the way? I've just seen. Matt Cotton on the ball. Look in a minute. Skeffington. McQuaid. Holmes. Holmes. Saved by the goal. I honestly thought I was going in the back of the net. Duncan Idaho. Is he playing for Staley Bridge? Come on. Hover. Show me him. It's gone. Oh, I thought we scored a goal then as well in that very quick highlight. Okay. There's a minute and a half left. And we've won the ball back. Bird coming forward with it out towards Holmes who does collect it in the end, keeps hold of possession, Osme, or Osme on the ball, 
into Skeffington. Skeffington into Bird. Bird. Oh. Narrowly wide of the post. We've done so well in these final five minutes. We, we To be fair, the way we've played in the final five minutes, we deserve the win. But the overall game, looking at these stats, we, we don't deserve the win. I think, though, this throw-in is going to be the last bit of action in the game as Osney puts it in to, to their player in the end. And that's full-time. To be fair, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with a draw against a team in the playoffs. That's really good. Let's see the damage then to Lee Masters. Scott Arnold, who's he? I don't. He's, he's in the youth squad. Four to five months hip injury. I mean, that is quite bad for the under-18 player, but we don't care. Lee Masters, six to seven weeks with damaged knee cartilage. That's it's not too bad. Like, it's not... <laughs> It's not too bad. He's out for two months probably, but it's we're going to miss him in those two months because he has been very good when he has played for us. Don't worry about your injury. I know these things can be frustrating. Try and focus on your recovery. I'd be a lot happier if I wasn't injured in the first place. Well, yes, we know that, mate, but we can't do anything about that right now. You're a loss of a team. That's all I'm trying to say. Hey, right, I'll get my recovery in that case. Okay, he's happy with that. I mean, calm down, Lee. I, why do I even talk to players sometimes? Because they're just so fickle. I hate it sometimes. Right, we've got three big games coming up, actually. Warrington in 20th, Workington in 16th, Whitby in 15th, uh, 17th, sorry. But then after that, we've got three really tough games with Frickley, Kidsgrove, and Buxton in, in 2nd, 9th, and 4th. And then Curzon Ashton in 13th. So... One, two, three. I think next episode we do Buxton and Curzon Ashton. Or maybe Kidsgrove and Buxton. One of the two. Buxton definitely, and then either Kidsgrove or Curzon Ashton. I'll, I'll decide when I get there. We'll see how much I can get played in before next episode and things like that as well. And um, then after that, we'll do the games for Trinity and Boston one. And then after that, we ooh, we could push the end of the season or get one more in there. I don't know. We'll see what happens either way. But uh, next episode, Buxton and, and someone. So a mix of highs and lows in today's episode. But I think for the most part, we've seen some positive things in this episode. Hopefully we'll pick up some wins in the next three games against those teams that we really need to beat. Especially as they're down near us at the bottom of the table. So hopefully that'll be good. If you enjoyed today's episode, then please do drop a like on the video for me. And subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. With notifications turned on so you never miss an episode. And I'll see you next time for some more Lincoln Loco. Action.